Okay, so is free website hosting really worth it? In this video, we're going to find out. Okay, so I'm going to be breaking down some of the pros and cons of free website hosting, and we're going to find out really if it's worth it or not. After that, I'll show you where you can get a service from one of the most popular hosting providers for literally just a dollar a month. Okay, first let's go over some of the pros of free website hosting. Number one, it's free. Sort of. But we'll get into that a little later. Number two, no contract. There's no binding contract, so you can leave whenever you want. Number three, it's good for people who only need a website for a limited period of time. If you need this for a specific event or something else, this also may be good for you. But why pay for something you only need for just one day? Okay, so let's go over the cons. Number one, unreliability. Most free website hosting providers are notorious for having long periods of downtime, meaning there might be hours or even days that you won't be able to access your website. Number two, the upsell. To get new customers to sign up, a company will offer website hosting for free for a limited time. Then about a month after you sign up is when they hit you with a, if you want to keep hosting with us, pay us X amount of dollars per month to keep your website online. Number three, ads, which might not sound like a big deal at first, but after a while it can get very annoying, especially when there's multiple pop-ups, not to mention distracting banners everywhere. But if you're okay with that, free hosting may be for you. Number four, limited space. This is where, again, they can get you with an upsell. They might offer free hosting, but you'll quickly find out that the disk space, bandwidth, and almost everything else will be extremely limited, which can be a pain even if you're thinking about expanding mildly. Number five, no customer support. Like I talked about before with unreliability, those two are connected. So when your site goes down, there's no live support, and you might not hear back from them from a week or sometimes never. Now that I've explained the pros and the cons of free website hosting, you should be able to make your decision based on what you've learned. From my experience, it's easier to just pick a good hosting provider the first time around versus pick a free service that's bad and realize you should have picked the good one the first time around and you could have saved yourself a whole lot of time and trouble. Here's what I recommend, GoDaddy. This is still what I use today and it's where I've been a customer at for over seven years and here's why. Number one, the price. In the beginning of this video, I told you I'd show you how to get hosting for just a dollar a month. You can get GoDaddy hosting plus a free domain name for that price with the discount link in the bottom left side of this video. Number two, reliability. Unlike free hosts, GoDaddy's been extremely reliable. I've never once in the entire time I've been a customer of theirs, which I said has been over seven years, have I ever had one of my websites go down. That's one of the main reasons why GoDaddy is so popular and why you see all the ads on TV and why everybody knows about them is because they've been providing a good service for so many years. Number three, tech support. When I first became a customer at GoDaddy, I had no idea how to do anything. I didn't know how to set up a WordPress website. I didn't even know how to install WordPress. But luckily the guy on the phone walked me through it step by step the whole way. That's the great thing about GoDaddy is that they have people there who know what they're doing and can actually help you and want to help you right there on the spot. Okay guys, that's my review on if free website hosting is really worth it. So if you think you can handle some of the cons I mentioned previously in this video, then maybe free website hosting is for you. But if not, and maybe you want to try the paid version, which is hardly the paid version when it costs just a dollar a month over at GoDaddy. Again, the discounted link is at the bottom left hand side of this video. I've also included a link in the description to a video for beginners that I made to show you exactly how to set up step by step a professional website specifically using GoDaddy for completely free besides the cost of the actual hosting. Alright guys, so that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments section below. See ya.